Uh, joined by Garo Prendergast after Young Munster's uh, narrow victory here over Shannon in the AIL. Garo, uh, 15 points up at one stage, looked to be maybe the win in the bag, but in fairness to Shannon, they they, they, they fought back and, and really pushed to put it up to you right to the end. Yeah, they were. They were. I mean, you're right. They were. Um, they were really in it in the last couple of minutes, and it was it was anyone's game. And that's credit to them. They never give up. I suppose at 31-15, you kind of feel maybe we kick on and, and, and see out the game. But as I said, that's great tenacity out of them and great resilience. And uh, listen, they're a good side. They've beaten some big teams already this year. So um, fair play to them. Yeah, it was a right, right challenge right to the end. The tries you got, you had four of them in the first half. You had one early in the second half. Uh, mixtures of play, it was some good intricate passing. There was some good power shown by, by the forwards. But what, what impressed you most about, about those scores today? I think the fact that we took them. And there's been times where maybe the last pass or the second last pass mightn't stick. But I have to say, like, while some elements of our game were disappointing today, I mean, some of those tries we scored were, were exceptional. You know, Pat Campbell, Phil, Connor Phillips, Connor Hayes, Dan Goggin, these guys, they can play. Um, I must mention Luke Fitz as well, thought he did really well. And credit to Evan Cusick, got some important kicks from the touchline, which was which was important. But uh, yeah, in fairness to the backs in particular, I thought they were really good tonight. Um, but listen, as I said, it's 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 a big win. It's five points, and uh, in the context of the season, we move on to next week now and concentrate in Trinity. You mentioned Patrick Campbell there. Of course, the team game we know that as our coaches will will drill into their into their squads. But a really explosive player when he when he comes back to the AL, he's he's just he, he he really gets people excited, and and it was no different tonight. Yeah, he's an exceptional runner more than anything, isn't he? I mean, he's proven that in Irish twenties. He did it last season for us. Um, but we've got a lot of quick guys out there as well. You know, the two wingers, Connor and Philly, and. Shane McCarthy's another guy to mention, but uh, yeah, Paz just got that, that bit of X factor. I suppose it's those first 10 metres in particular, he just has that explosiveness and uh, he showed that tonight. How important after losing last week on the road uh, against one of the top sides in, in the country was it to, you know, to get back to winning ways and get, get, as you say, five points on the board this evening? It's key because look, we have ambitions and our ambitions will name them and we want to get into that top four and go from there. But in order to do that, judging on the other results, we needed to win tonight and... Uh, uh, we knew it would be a tough test, of course we did, uh, it's a derby and as I keep saying Shannon are a good side so coming off the back of a defeat last week, um, but yeah, look, as I said in the context it's, it, of the season this is a huge game and really my eyes are already now drawn to Trinity next week so that's another big 